G'day team, Petey checking in. Uh, this time we've got the unboxing of the Weeha, I think that's how you pronounce it. So this is the uh, electric voltage tester, volt detector. So Pete doing his backyard renos. Thought this would be coming in handy so I don't have to turn off all of my power circuits. I'm looking at putting the ceiling fan in, so I thought I might just test it, just to see that it's not actually on. Anyway, we've got RCD here in Australia, so it should be all right. But anyway, I thought this would be pretty cool to test it. So the box is in like, um, it's like a smooth, almost plastic coated cardboard. Um, Photos 3D looks pretty cool. Let's give you all the specs. I think that's, um, potentially that's the life size of it I think original size I think that's pretty cool to look at so it's saying it comes with the AAA batteries that uh, all the things so that looks pretty cool it's got like these tabby things on the bottom stick it in your power point that is clearly uh, looks like a euro power point round pins and then here's all the stuff the there's the English save time, rapid voltage testing, thanks to contactless measuring with light signal, increasing efficiency, compatible for all use in sockets worldwide, thanks to measurement tip suited to international usage. So that is going to be a ripper. Righto, let's have a look. How does this come out? Don't know. Uh, righto, let's have a look. So maybe we crack this one. Should have been harder than that. Can't really see a tab on that. There we go. Maybe that'll bust out. There's probably a better way to open that, but we'll give that a go. Right, eh? So what do we got? So we got the unit. So the unit, some instructions manual, mm, bunning style, picture, graphics, uh, undo it, put your battery in, close cap, uh, push a button I think, turn it on maybe, right, all the stuff. Very good, and it's got all the other languages. Yeah. So all the languages, very good. That. So we got the actual unit itself. It is clipped on. That's cool. Got a pocket clip, belt clip. So the unit is in like um, smooth plastic. Um, you can see there's like a casting line more like a join line, it's only just visible there. Um, so yeah, exactly as it was on the box, this is like translucent plastic, you can see a circuit board there, um, your actual pole for the testing, so it looks metal. So fit and finish on that looks pretty good, all these we are, I think that's how you pronounce it, not sure. These tools are always top notch. Uh, you can see like some little berthing there. Um, other than that, that's just micro detail. That's just been super pedantic. Uh, it's got a sticker, the um, button. It actually feels like a hard plastic. I thought that may have been rubberized. Pocket clip. Move the battery. Insulator inside before you, so that'll just stop the contact. Very good. Um, patents, whatnot. That's embossed. It's got your pretty clear markings there of your battery. 
serial number. Very good. That clip's pretty, pretty solid. There's a fair bit of tension on that. That's the okay. case. So right, let's remove it. Sticker. So that feels almost like. It doesn't feel like a screw. Maybe that's. Oh yep, yeah, there we go. It almost felt like it was a press fit, but that is a thread. So any clockwise undo it. It's got like a seal. So that's pretty cool. Keep all the kind of water or guff out of there. Don't know if it is waterproof. You can see your actual connection points for the battery sprung metal super fine so that thread is pretty cool so it's generally easy to screw on where they even put a lubricant on the o-ring that's good save it from perishing and stuff and then we actually look in there so that battery it's got the sticky on there so it can't make contact and won't flatten the battery all right so that's just like some almost like a guitar pick that's pretty cool. Generally it's only like sticky tape. So really good quality stuff, these guys. Um, then inside the unit, you can see the battery sleeve there. So what kind of these batteries are? Air D. That's a cool name, never seen that before. Super heavy duty. Not for retail. Manufacturer looks yep made in China very good just the standard one that's um I don't know if that's your expiry there she only just bought this so that's not much stuff but anyway who cares I generally go for forever so let's bang that in get the right orientation so you got your nipple top point it down bang that in put that cap on the ass back on that screw it on oh, let's push this power on so that's got a pretty bright cool LED there uh, then I've got um, this power cord ready to go that's just the extension lead um, standard Oz plug so let's give it a go see what it does Hmm. I think this cord's on. Oh, yep, there we go. So, active neutralizer. That, that's my bad there. So, it's going to light up when it actually hits the point with power. So, that's pretty cool. Wow, well done. And that is insulated. It's instant to come on, which is quick. You can see this pulse so as soon as I jam that in there. I wonder how close it needs to be. I'll show you how deep that has to go to light it up. Oh, so you can see there. It's not real big. Boom. So that does have to go a fair way down. That's pretty much bottomed out. But if you got bad wires, that would be pretty easy. Okay, so that kind of sticky. Might be a shitty. Shitty power point. I don't know why that's not going again. I hope I haven't tripped the power. But anyway, we could see it working. Right, oh team, that's Petey checking in with the We Are. It looks pretty cool. Recommend that one. Have an awesome day. See you, team.